Hello and welcome to Butlin's Minehead Resort, where me and Alex are here today with the girls for a fantastic little trip. We're here for a few days, staying over in the gold accommodation. And of course, I'll take you for a little look around there as well, along with the various different facilities here. Obviously, there is a fairground. We're going to be doing that towards the start of the vlog. And with this one, I'm going to sort of keep nipping in and out of it, doing various different attractions. I'll show you a little bit of the entertainment venues. Uh, you've got Centre Stage and Reds, they're the two main ones. And for me and Alex, it's a bit of a throwback to our childhood, isn't it? I mean, we went to Skegness two years ago, uh, just us and did a vlog from there. And we thought we'd bring the girls here. Chris has never been before. Charlotte's been quite a lot as a kid. And uh, the girls? Yeah. Are the girls yeah, where have they gone? Have they gone? We're in the Skyline Pavilion, which I will take you for a walk around, but uh, I can't seem to find them anywhere at all. I'm not too... Oh, hang on. Here she is. There's Charlotte. And does that mean there's Krista? Hey. How are you? Welcome to Butlins. And of course, they've both been big kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun there? Yeah. Hey. But yeah, like throughout this, we'll show oh, you a bit of the fairground. And, oh, she's, she's doing all the salts. Come on, let's see you do a flip. Oh. Come on, flip over shot. You Come on, all your weight forward. Head down, hey. kick your legs back. Head down, kick your legs back. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> so yeah, we're staying here for four nights. We've also done a couple of theme parks and stuff in the local area as well. Oh. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this is the Skyline Pavilion, which is right in the centre. Loads of different food, restaurants, uh, your entertainment venues are located in here. All sorts of stuff all the way around. And uh, yeah, you've got bowling, you've got arcades, there's a splash water park. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely huge. The fun fair is located just out the back. Uh, so we're going to head around there in just a moment and uh, kick it all off. But uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said, I'll show you our accommodation. you got numerous different accommodation options here at Butlins. There's three different resorts actually throughout the UK. The one here in Minehead, one in Skegness, which is quite close to Fantasy Island. Then <laughs> you've also got one down in Bognor Regis as well. But, uh, oh, are you enjoying that? Hey! <laughs> Living the dream. How much was that for a go then, Charlotte? Five pounds. There you go, not too bad. Yeah, let's go and see Krista in action. I know, yeah. What are you doing here? You're in at the cattle, cattle pen. Keep your life. It's like a theme park. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to like get a training. I mean, she's a gymnast. I'm going to keep, come on, that's it. Over and over. Seven out of ten. Come on, one. Krista. Come on, one more flip, Krista. Come on, you can do it. Up and over, ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. There we go. There so, you go. Very good. Tell you what, she'll be in the circus next week. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's another you. thing what's here, actually. Yeah, the yeah, circus. Big so. circus tent just down there on the big lawn. Yeah, outside. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to film the circus, but uh, I'll definitely show you a bit of the venue. You can just make it out outside just down there, actually, on the uh, right-hand side. But, uh, yeah, there's Centre Stage, one of your different show venues. Red is just outside there as well. And all your entertainment is uh, free of charge. There's a few up charge bits but uh, oh there you go a few upcharge bits but uh, like your bowling and stuff's chargeable there's a uh, cinema here as well obviously your food you can uh, do self catering which we have or you can have your food as part of a deal as well but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it join us throughout our vlog here from Butlin's Minehead Resort oh Charlotte's just managed a flip let's see it there you go hey looks like both of them are going to be in the circus now <laughs> Right, let's go have a look at the fairground outside. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what you got there then, Charlotte? So, I went to the proper Cornish. Proper like, Cornish pasties. But I didn't have a Cornish pasty. I've had a broccoli and cheese melt and it's really nice. Yeah, how much was that? I don't know. You don't know how much you paid? No, I paid £4 something for a drink. So that's oh, that's fun. not too bad for a drink as well. It's probably like £2 something maybe for that. But uh, here we go. Welcome to the fairground. Obviously, all of these three different Butlins resorts vary in terms of attractions and uh, facilities and also the location of things as well. At this resort, the fairground is actually located uh, right next to the Skyline Pavilion, which is, of course, the big tent 
that we've just been in, which has got a lot of your indoor entertainment, it's restaurants. It's called Sir Billy's Fairground, and when they had the anniversary at Butlins recently, I know that they really wanted to bring a vintage feel back to the vibes at Fairground, so they brought in the Helter Skelter, they brought in a classically designed waltzer, and they put a lot of new vinyls up around the attraction they've already got to make it like a classic Fairground feel. That's really and good. it's really, really nice, so it's obviously called the Sir Billy's Fairground, but Sir Billy Butlin, of course, who created all of the... And, uh, and he's now the mascot course. as well. And Billy Bear is now the mascot, yeah, so it's got inspired after... Um, Billy Button, I think that's really quite sweet actually. Yeah, I think it's time. nice. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, all of these rides here are free to go on as many times as you want, apart from the go-karts, which are up charge, and I assume that little ball thing, what they've got over there. But uh, yeah, the go-karts just here, six pound a car, I believe these are. But it's still quite a good circuit. I'll probably have a go on those at some point. You've got like a paratrooper over there. There's a waltzer, halter skelter, chair swing just here, carousel. Yeah, it looks really good fun. Let's uh, get on some rides. As Alex was saying then, it is called Sir Billy's Fairground. There's the nice theme sign there at the top. Here's that look at the different attractions and also the height restrictions on there for if you are coming to visit Butlins. Of course, feel free to pause the video at this point so you can see your preferred ride there and also the uh, height restriction. Now, it's been over 10 years since I last came to this Butlins resort when I came with my parents and it's changed loads, but I love this feel of the fairground. And here we've got Sir Billy presents the world of wonder, including the Hall of Mirrors. Let's have a look inside this one. Ooh, interesting. What we got in here then, Charlotte? Oh, it's really good. We've got some big uh, illusion going on over here. What's this? Hello. <laughs> you look really funny in that lighting. Put 20p in the meter if you want me to speak. You already spoke, I didn't have to spend 20p. Hang on. Welcome. To, to choose your language, select one for Spanish, two for Japanese, or three for English. Three. Hello, my name's Alex, and welcome. Oh, I Japanese, you said three in Japanese. <laughs> Did I? Let's mess that one up. Yeah, here we are, we've got a little, uh, got a little stage Konnichiwa. area. A few years ago, they changed that Butlins logo as well. I like the rebrand, what they've done. This is nice, there's your Hall of Mirrors. Oh, lose your body. My, how you've grown. Oh, oh there gosh. we go. No, no. Look at that. The, top, the bottom half of the body. Oh, there you go. Oh, What's look at that. Gone? Oh, that's clever. So you just got a, a mirror, you just see it on a slant underneath. Oh, that's really quite cool. You just wow. ruined magic. I was in the magic circle. Oh, are you joking? You broke the circle. <laughs> that's quite clever. Come on, Charlotte, let's see the start of your body. You've seen that, Charlotte? Cut the start of your body off. No, you can stand behind it. There you go, and look from my side. That's it. Ta da! Where's my legs? So here we have Sean levitating. He is rising, he is floating, he is not moving. Sean? Sean? Oh, sorry. Go ahead and say you're right in front of me. Let's do a bit of magic. He's floating. He is levitating, he is asleep. Magic! First ride down here in the fairground, we're on the classic Gallopers Carousel. Here we are, Charlotte next to me just here. On your horsey. There's Chris and Alex just behind. <laughs> It's what? It's not in Tesco. It's Tesco, right yeah. Here. here we are. There's a little look at the entrance to Butlins just there. That's where you drive in. And that's the seafront over there. The beach is over there somewhere, just the other side of the road. And obviously, to come in here, you have to have your wristbands on at all times. So that's why we're wearing these red wristbands. And that over in the distance is my net itself. There's an arcade down there called, what is it, Merlin's Amusement. Merlin's Amusements that we'll have a walk to one day and go and see that. There's like the railway down there that I'm most likely going to do a video for my second channel, Adventure Sean. There's a steam train, so I'm sure I'll check that out. And uh, yeah, that's like the main check-in building there. Because we're in the gold apartment, there's a separate check-in building for that. So that's like your main area that you check in there. And like I say in this vlog, a bit later on, I'll show you around our accommodation. <laughs>
Let me help you, come on. No, 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 no honestly, mate, come on. Oh, what's the construction? <laughs> come on. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here he is. That's not a view that I want to see there, though, is it? There we are. Fan of theme park worldwide on here as well. Good to Hi, see guys. you, pal. Hey. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, mate. Keep watching the videos. Oh, he's off finally. Let's go on the wall, sir. It is. See you later, mate. <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic, that was. Really enjoyed the swings just there. Really good fun. Charlotte's not coming on this one either, the waltzers. She's not a big uh, flat rides fan. And to be honest, I don't think we're going to get these spinning that much, but you never know. Time to lean, time to clean. Lean that way. Oh, he gets some action. Chris is the unlucky one in the middle. Oh, oh, foot. That's my foot. oh sorry. Ow. Oh, look at them sandals. Oh, oh no. 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 Well, there's a car boot sale down the road. So, you know what? No. I'm going to go and sell them. No. All the viewers are thinking, you know what? I wouldn't even pay a quid for those. But yeah. I paid 45 quid for them, didn't I? You didn't. Per shoe. God, they're expensive in Primark these days. Oh. Playing Primark. <laughs> but yeah, there's nobody uh, actually spinning oh. these. You've got to do it yourself. So, you they're not that intense, really. Very nicely presented this fairground though, a lot nicer than the one at Skegness in my opinion. As much as there's no Miami wave and like motion simulator and stuff, I just prefer the look and feel of this. The only ride what's not really themed in with the traditional stuff is the Zamperla rocking tug just over in the distance. Just about make it out when we spin around that section. Just over there. Oh, oh here we go. It's no skid though, is it? We love the skids. Check out the vlog from the Hoppings where we met up with Disney Mark. Fantastic fun, we had a really good time. We went on a ride called the Skid. And it was fantastic. Over there. I'm just trying to get it spinning, mate. Trying to get it, oh, oh, that's it. Oh, Milkman. Uh, very good afternoon and welcome to Butlins Minehead for the Dodgems Championship 2018. It's starting to rain a little bit. Alex Crump, don't hit me, you'll get banned. <laughs> they are very strict on these dodgems today. Oh dear, no head on bumping. They don't even like side on bumping here. It's a very strict dodgems this one. Number 19, the milkman. Oh, I'm in the back of him. Charlotte's actually in with me. Ah! Oh, yeah, it's a rarity. Oh, here we are, this little dude here. I'm trapped to him. There we go, you all right, mate? There he is. That's it. Oh, there we are. Oh, oh no, I don't bump it. Oh, you're gonna get banned. Alex will get banned for the day. Let's go and get this one. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, oh my God, she's banned for the day for that. Get her Yeah, we had a very strict speech at the start of this one. Did you know that Butlins here also used to have a monorail? and a train ride going back in the day. Ah! 
Oh God, sorry, pal. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. Oh. Well, we got this whole side to ourselves now. It's getting windy now, isn't it? Luckily, we've only got a couple of rides to do. Let's turn around here, else we're going to get trapped. There's Krista. Oh, no. oh. oh right, you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Chris is in the side. Let's get her again, let's get her again. Oh, you'll be banned. I'll be banned. What? There's Milkman Tours. On the Dodgems. July 2018. Dom Dodgems Championships. And Alex is coming in. Oh, you are gonna you are gonna get banned. <laughs> Good cycle. The race has been going for two minutes, 25 seconds. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, and the bell sound. <laughs> Boom. Hello. <laughs> Dodger was a really good fun there. And we're now straight on to the chair swings. Hey, uh, Charlotte. We got another fan of the channel in front. Give us a wave. Are you having a good holiday? Good. There's Krista over there, just chilling out, enjoying it. Reminiscing on the days where she could swing over Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and Kyle Cuckoo Land in all its glory. And then Alex is just asleep, just behind. Good views of the Skyline Pavilion. And you can just make out mine head over there in the distance. And the tide is in quite uh, far today. Look, you can just see the sea, a bit of beach over there. Just goes to show how close it is to the beach because if you stay in, in the accommodation down this end, I mean, the gold accommodation's closest uh, to the beach. It means you can just walk straight out here five minutes to be on the beach just over there. And the last ride we've got to do here is the uh, the paratrooper. Unfortunately, the Helter Skelter is closed. Probably do the go-karts another day because it's starting to rain. And I'm not too fussed about the uh, the Zamperla rocking tug. Uh, you like, you, Why well, you don't like the Zamperla rocking tug either? Oh, you do like it? Oh, I don't know, maybe Alex will want to do Zamperla rocking tug. Hello? I'll take that as a no. Right, we're on the paratrooper then now. Again, just me and Krista on this one. Charlotte and Alex like bathing on things. We went to the water park earlier on and uh, me and Krista did one of the body slides. It wasn't very good though. I actually nearly stalled at it. Like I say, I can't film in the water park here, uh, but I will show you a little bit of the exterior and uh, just a little look at the slides at some point in the vlog. Unfortunately, this paratrooper doesn't really tilt that high. This is its maximum height now. Apologise about the wind noise, but you had quite a good view over there. Look, there's the seafront. Quite a picturesque area. Obviously, you can easily get to lots of attractions in Devon from here as well. I don't think the Milky Way Adventure Park where I was the other week's too far, actually. There's Shot and Alex down there being very social. There they are, look. Charlotte's having a nice drink of Coke down there. <laughs> Charlotte, oh, there we go. Charlotte! Hiya! Oh, yeah. Krista's first time on this actually as well. Not I've done one of these before, have you? Flat ride credit. Not like I count the flat rides, but it's a new one to get on. We were told that there were some pedlos somewhere by the fan of the channel. Just over there. Let's just see if we can. Oh yeah, I think there is. There's a little yeah, there's a little lake with some pedlos on, so we'll have to do those. Love a good set of pedlos. And that's the end of our cycle on this very old paratrooper. Travelling ride there, look. That's it, let's go and have a look at them pedlos. Definitely do those. So here's your pedlos then. £6 for 15 minutes for these ones. Uh, not too bad at all. We're not going to do them now because the weather's getting a little bit bad. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely do them at some point. 
here's the circus tent that I uh, mentioned just over there that's where the show is that is an upcharge show all your other entertainment is included but uh, what's going on with Charlotte there she looks very uh... there's a what a donkey oh I got some uh, little donkey rides going on oh, I'm just gonna crawl through the uh, the bush just here yeah Oh. Char Charlotte just said, oh, they're so cute, and the donkey man was like, thanks, he's gone back and settled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a big circus. But, um, yeah, there's some more rides, actually, inside that building. When I was a kid, that was actually the, uh, like, the noddy play area, and there was, like, a noddy car ride, and a few other bits in there as well. Uh, I'll show you in there in a second, actually. We'll just show you what rides there is, in case you're coming here. But, uh, yeah, there's your circus tent. We are going to watch that one day. Probably won't be able to film that. And uh, just here on the left, you've noticed a hotel uh, style building there. But that's actually, well, like, you know a bit more about it than I do, to be honest. <laughs> They're called the Blue Skies Apartment. So the timeshares, basically, and you could pay, you know, like sort of like a Disney Vacation Club sort of thing. You pay it and you get so much time per year, depending on how much you pay for one of those rooms. And a fun little fact, about 12 years ago, that top right-hand apartment on the top floor there was our timeshare, my family's timeshare, 12 years God, ago. Oh, that's crazy. You, you could have actually been here when I was here on holiday. We were know. one of the very, very first residents in that Blue Skies Apartment. We have the nicest view of the seaside out there. You get a lovely sea view, especially at night time. Do you know what the building architecture kind of reminds me of especially in the middle the uh, hotel that we stayed in when we went to Hong Kong Disneyland which one was that just uh, remember it like all that, that style architecture like oh, the Hollywood the hotel, hotel. The Hollywood hotel yeah. yeah it just looks you know that sort of it, bit it? art deco -y sort of like look it. to it but yeah I'll just show you inside this area like the kids area in case you're watching this video There's because you're making a trip here yeah, you got the donkeys which I presume are, are up charge as well and uh, yeah just over at the back just there we've got some kids rides so I'll show you those Oh, this is really bringing back those childhood memories now, just walking down here and seeing the skyline just there, red, centre stage, and what is now called the Little Stars Fairground. And uh, yeah, this used to be Noddy Land, like I say. Oh my God, it doesn't really look that different, to be honest. They've still actually got all the buildings up around the side, the play area. God, that's why I love coming back to stuff like this. And it's thanks to my parents. I know I've so I spoke about them a lot in the videos, but honestly, if it wasn't for my parents, I would never have liked theme parks and come to them. And you know, the channel wouldn't exist without them if they didn't bring me to places like this as a kid. Yeah, look at it, I remember all this the little ladybugs. Oh, the memories, eh, Alex? I remember the memories. Here and make way for Noddy. Noddy! Yeah. And all the characters be walking around. I used to love it. Do you remember this? I haven't been here for about 15, 16 years, but I still remember that. Like, all the buildings Noddy and like, everything. Oh, the infrastructure crazy. is very similar, isn't it? I think they've just taken kind of the noddy brand in a way. Like, I remember, yeah. you know, them trees. I know it's a funny thing to remember. Like them green pointy trees over there. You know? They used to be really wobbly. Like, you used to be able to push them around. And oh, wow. They've got the noddy train with it. Yeah, this was the, the noddy... The character. Was it noddy cars or noddy train? What? Noddy cars, I think it was cars. Oh, wow. Oh, the memories. There's a lot of rides here. Actually, when you work out, there's not as many rides on the fairground as there is in Skagnet, but including all these rides, there's probably more rides here in total. So, my, my mum probably spent the best hours out of 10 hours a day with me, chasing me around. And I'm talking when I was like three and four years old. Like, I was that crazy as a kid. I used to run around and like, she nearly lose me. She had to have me on them little reins as a kid. Honestly, I used to love it. I was, Time my life, my mum, my mum and me's memories in here are irreplaceable. It's, it's nice because we, we didn't get the memories of this bit when we went to Skagness because they've changed it into it was a Bob restaurant. The builder and then it changed into a yeah, Noddy then Bob the Builder. Noddy then Bob the Builder. I don't know what it is. It's a restaurant now. Restaurant say. and we went, but they, I'm glad this is still standing. Like I say, it's brought so many memories. I remember it all. You got the slide there. Oh, actually, there's the car ride. Look down the bottom. Oh yeah. Let's have a look at that. I think there you go. That's the car ride. Wow. Here it is. Don't you feel even older now you're in here? Oh wow, yeah. Really Didn't now. Noddy used to be on the cars as well, like it's I'm pretty sure at, or at the side. Were these characters different cars? Possibly. This is closed today unfortunately, but must be having a few technical issues. Don't think it's a permanent closure though. It looks yeah, like it's all been painted up. Oh wow, it's this has been. Ah, no, I see in this and there. Um... The slide, Craig, but we're too big. Oh. At least you managed to go on the trampolines, you're not too big. 
You look really nice there though, Charlotte. You look good, nice and summery. Shame about the weather today. As soon as we've come away to the seaside, it started to rain. But at least with Butlins, there's a lot of indoor stuff and a lot of entertainment. But we have a little stroll round, and uh, yeah, we'll see you a little bit later on. Oh, there's Charlotte giving Billy Bear a bit of a cuddle just there. And here's a, another Billy Bear just here. One for Krista to cuddle at night. And <laughs> we've got some old photos just here. As you can see, uh, this red coat just here is wearing the old uniform. And that's something what they've actually brought back for the anniversary as well. And you can see some really old photos. I did mention earlier on that there used to be various different rides here as well. Uh, you can see there a cable car down at the bottom. There's a train ride. But obviously up here, one of my favourites, the monorail. And from what I can work out, this is like where them pedalos are now. And then the fairground is sort of down here. Uh, but look at that. I wish that monorail was still in action. I would have loved to have done that. And uh, from looking at different photos that I've seen of it, it used to run around quite a bit of the site as well. But uh, yeah, it's a shame about that. It looks a bit like the original one, uh, like at the Disney parks. And also Fantasyland, that used to have a monorail like that. I never did it, but wow, look at that. And I think that, is that the building? Is that like the back uh, of Centre Stage and Reds possibly? Like, what is this building now? Potentially, it could be. I'm not too sure on that, but looks like that could be the lake on that side. Then we're now standing at the back of that building. And of course, another little photo down there okay, with the logo. Really hard to notice on here. I mean, you've got a nice view of the red coach uniform there, but you can see them down here as well. They've actually gone back to the traditional uniforms that the red coach used to wear. Nice, that is. So it? the gentlemen have got the uh, white trainers on and the white short trousers um, with the red blazer and the white shirt. The ladies the same on the top half, but obviously the white skirts on the bottom. I think it's really back to its origins. I think it's really vintage, but also a touch of the old, a touch of the new kind of feel buttons are going for with the branding. and. Actually, it's paying off. It's really well. working, isn't it? Really modernising, but looking at the gone. retro stuff as well. Like the retro logo, just how it used to be in the signature, of course. I like how they're not just trying to wash all this away, all this history either. Uh, they're celebrating it, they're very passionate about it, and of course, that's great to see. Everyone's seen the boys at work? Here we go then, so we've been back to our apartment and got changed and we're now in the American Diner that actually opened a couple of years ago. Really nicely themed in here and lots of Bose speakers. And you can see up the top just there that you've got a uh, big sub and it's actually all coming from the jukebox just over there where it's a pound and you can request four different songs. And here's the food, you look very nice Charlotte. Oh yeah, so this American Diner is located just outside the Skyline Pavilion. I've got a nice Frankfurt uh, hot dog there, which looks quite nice. Not too dry, that one, actually. Looks quite good. Obviously, here we've got a nice themed burger. Look at that. Butlin's logo on there. Nicely presented. Krista's just got some chips over there. That's all sheets, you know, Krista. Shouldn't eat anything but chips, do you? Never in her life she's eaten anything else. She yeah, doesn't know what food is. Yeah, she's, sure, that's not she's only ever had chips all her life. Well, mine didn't just come on the baking tray. Yours come on the baking tray, and for me, they can't get a big enough glass for a milkshake because they've had to give me this with it as well, which is quite funny. Turn the camera around on you for a second. Turn it, spin it, spin it around a little bit, spin it around. Oh, what are you doing? You've got a, uh, he's got a chip on his shoulder, aren't he, folks? Yeah. Terrible, that Terrible, that one. Chip off the old block. But uh, yeah, we've got some nice theming in here, look. All them records on the wall. Up the top there, we've got some old, uh, well, radios and things. Yeah, it's nice in here, but I'm going to tuck in. This looks really nice, actually. A bit like uh, the stuff what you get out in France and Germany, hot dog wise. But uh, how, how's your food? Nice. Well, I'm not eating the burger, but the chips are nice. Mm. Mushroom burger. There you go. It did take him a while to bring the drinks over, but the food came imminently after that. So, yeah, let's tuck in.
socks for your friends. Oh, the news of Christmas. And give it all the land. My friends are all so cynical. Confused. Here we go. Join in. We all enjoy the matches. Really good evening. Earlier on, we had a fantastic meal in the diner, and then we head into centre stage where we went to watch uh, Cinderella Rocks, which was absolutely fantastic. I wasn't able to film any of the show in there, but it was a really good production, about an hour and 15 minutes in total. A uh, really good show, lots of music, lots of characters. Uh, it was just genuinely a fantastic production. And then we went into Red's, the other entertainment venue, where you just saw some fantastic footage. Now, obviously, I really like Robbie Williams, but Krista, uh, I mentioned it earlier on in the vlog. She's a die-hard fan of Robbie Williams and as you saw from the footage of us all dancing especially Krista who decided to get up on the table dancing because she was loving it so much and she even had a poster made saying that she doesn't like Gary Barlow so what did you think to it? I love Gary Barlow. Yeah. <laughs> How many wine did you want? But come on you enjoyed the show didn't no, you? No but he insulted Gary and Howard and oh. I'm not okay with that. But it was so a good I'd, production, wasn't it? To be fair to him, he was quite like uh, uh, Robbie, even. He was good, wasn't Gary, he? Then. Like he looked just yeah, like he did. him, he sang like and him just too. like Robbie, he put on a he really good show, didn't he? Did you enjoy it, Charlotte? Hey, what did you think of the shows you've seen tonight? It was really good. Really good. Did you enjoy it, Cinderella Rocks? Yes, it was very good. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't and it? Robbie Williams was amazing. It feels like we've actually seen. Robbie today. It feels like that was the real Robbie. To be honest, he was so in the part. It was absolutely fantastic. And that wraps up uh, a night for us here at Butlings. But that isn't the end of the vlog. Like I say, I'm going to be filming numerous bits over the next couple of days. So we're off to bed. I won't show you our accommodation tonight. I will show you at some point tomorrow. But uh, you enjoyed it, Alex. Today. Yeah, it's a shame that we have to go back and see Gary Ball on the telly now. Now we've seen Robbie. He's the best one, isn't he? I believe they'll take that, do you know what I mean? We're, right. we're horrible, aren't we? I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it was good, wasn't it? Cinderella Rocks, fantastic. Me and Alex loved nice that. Nice little shout out to. Who Big was production. It? Someone who we know. Oh, Michael Bachelor, who's in there. If you're watching, we loved it. He used to be at Alton Towers Hotel. He then went out to Spain and did some work. And he plays a fantastic panto dame, doesn't it? It's a so very good, good panto dame. Uh, yeah, pyrotechnics yeah, in it as well. It was really nice. Some good set design. A lot of it was screens, uh, but it was nice. Good costumes. A really good overall production. What you want from a traditional panto as well? A bit of humour for the kids and for us. A bit of innuendo. All that. Everyone loves it. Good. It was a bit like watching this channel. It was a family show, but it was a little bit borderline at some points. Wasn't you, sl it? you slipped that in there. No? It was good, important. but uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. We're off to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more fun here at Butlins Mine and Resort. Good night. Sleep tight. It's another day here at Bullins Minehead and today we're off to see the Gandhi's Circus which is in the big top ten just behind me. Uh, now this comes to Butlins in the summer and uh, yeah it looks absolutely fantastic this from what we've seen. Yeah. And uh, yeah it looks like we can film in this show as well so I'll be sure uh, to give you some highlights from it. And uh, yeah it was an upcharge of £7 to go and see this uh, which I don't think is too bad at no, all. It's around an hour's show and uh, yeah it's located just here just outside the Skyline Pavilion. Uh, Gandhi's 
has worked with Butlins, uh, obviously all the artists that come together, and this is the uh, the greatest showman tour. But uh, yeah, we'll head inside and I'll show you some footage here from the show. Uh, following that, we're going to go and hire some of the bikes, aren't we? Yes. Uh, we're going to go and get Christopher and Alex afterwards. They're not watching the show with us today. It's just us, isn't it? Circus it's day. Circus and uh, yeah, we're going to go and get some of the bikes, go around Butlins, and go on the beach here in Minehead as well. So we'll uh, yeah show you some highlights here from the show. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you're waiting for. You've just seen a few minutes of highlights from the Gandhi's Circus, the greatest showman tour here at Bullins Minehead. And that was absolutely fantastic. One of the best circus I've yeah. ever seen. That was brilliant, that was. A really like, good production, amazing. one was Zippos. And that's yes. up there with Zippos. It was really good put together. It was just a great show. I mean, show. We, went, we went to see, oh, watch yourself. <laughs> we went to see Zippos when it came to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland over Christmas, didn't yeah, we? So and uh, what made that production here was the fact that it was much like Zippo, it's it a very, very professional really show. Good, yeah. Brilliant soundtrack throughout of it from the great showman, some really dramatic music as well. Uh, but some fantastic acts in that show, yeah, wasn't they? Really uh, I was on the edge of my seat. I oh, thought, yeah. oh no, they're gonna fall. What was it? About five or six yeah, big acts. Like really, really and uh, cool. what made it as well, a bit of adding that danger to it. There was no safety nets, no uh, oh, ropes yeah, holding them on. It was full on like circus, wasn't it? I loved it. It was a fantastic show. Uh, it was an hour, it was 60 minutes like we thought. And uh, yeah, I really liked like how these circuses now uh, are allowing you to film obviously it's not the same with all of them out there uh, but quite a few of them now they want you to film so you share it on social media and YouTube and all that sort of stuff and it encourages people to go there and yeah, see it like people who 
don't really know what it is can look online and then they'll think, oh, that looks good, and then they'll go. And they'll go and see it. But yeah, yeah. it was brilliant. I mean, there were some really unique acts in there. Uh, all of them were brilliant. But one, one, one that I really enjoyed a lot because I'd not seen that before, it was quite a simple one. It was the two females that had the balls. Yeah. And then uh, they had, like, the glitter ball as well, didn't they? It and sort really of spun around. Like, I, there was, like... <laughs> But it was really good. I'm but really yeah, yeah, good. fantastic. Really enjoyed that show. 10 out of 10. One of the best circus shows I've ever seen. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for £7, well worth coming to do on your trip here to Butlins. And I'm not too sure if they have it at the other resorts or not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I assume they maybe have a circus, but obviously I doubt it's Gandhi's because that is here in Minehead. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. 10 out of 10 show. And uh, for me, that was the highlight of the trip. Yeah. I liked Robbie though. And yeah. uh, last night we watched some other entertainment. We watched like a family game show. And we saw a band. I can't quite remember what they were called. It was called the Shane Nolan Band. The Shane Nolan and they were Band. Really, they were fantastic. Really uh, in red. So we went to see those. They didn't take the camera out with me last night. As I would have filmed some. Uh, but yeah, we're having a lovely time, aren't we? Yes. Really nice here at Butlins. And obviously back in the Skyline Pavilion. All the arcades and things in here. Lots of different things to do. There's the cinema, like we say. Bowling lots of different food options and yeah we're having a really good time a lot of people might think that Butlins is for kids it's really not there's so much more to it uh, we went on the fairground again last night the water park uh, we've done I still need to go over there and show you a bit of the water park actually I'll do that uh, this afternoon when we go on our little uh, bike tour but anyway we're going back to the room now and I've not done a room tour yet so uh, yeah hopefully the housekeepers have been in cleaned it up a bit and I can show them first yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Bert is this seagull, isn't it? Yes. So every seagull that we see. Every seagull I see is called Bert, and we went into my and I bought a Bert soft toy. Oh, I love yeah. it. But uh, yeah, we'll head back to the room and I'll show you our gold apartment. Lots of different accommodation here at Butlins. We've got some really nice like riverside lodges which look good as well. So I'll try and show you those when we go on our, our bike tour. But uh, yeah, here's the bikes. You'll see the little higher centre. And uh, yeah, it's a shame it's not open a bit later really, the higher centre. It does uh, close this does at like five o'clock. Uh, even though it's the summer which is a shame because it'd be quite nice to go around on an evening on these. But yeah, lots of different bikes. You can see them all here at the side. Charlotte there. There we are. <laughs> you've got like the uh, Chucker Brothers bikes, and you've got like all the little ones as well. I think we're going to have one each, aren't we? One of the, like, the go kart style around. ones. But uh, yeah, let's head up to our gold accommodation and give you a little room tour. So, like I say, we are staying in the gold apartments on this trip, and we're staying in Plantation Key just here, and uh, we're staying in Strawberry Square, aren't we? Yes, after we've got it right, because we keep calling it different things. We do, yeah, this is nice. We're really close to the skyline. There's that over there, literally five minutes if that and uh, yeah we're actually staying down here on this second staircase along upstairs and that is our balcony which is open and uh, Alex and Chris are up there should we give them a shout let's see if we can get their live reaction Alex Krista anyone Hello. and there they are on the balcony where's Alex he's asleep, he's asleep. Oh. oh right we're coming up to do a room tour <laughs> Here we are then, we're up in the apartment and Charlotte and Bert Bert's are going to give us a little tour around, aren't they? So what we got? So we got... Yeah, we'll start off in here, the main so, bedroom. Oh, there we are, you this bought is, this from a little shop, didn't yes. you? And this was 4 99 4 right, what we got? So this is our room, so we've got a nice double bed. We've got a nice view. Yeah, double room this one. Room. Refurbished by the looks of it, this apartment. It's quite nice, quite isn't it? A little spacious. desk area. So there's yeah. loads of cables everywhere. Yeah. Obviously got the GoPro and all that. That is our view just down there. You can also pay a little bit extra and have a balcony just there. Not from the room, but from your uh, living room. These are self-catering, but you can also pay for like a food package, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can if, have uh, like a dining plan. You, you get to like a room and you have all food in there. You get to like a room, do you? Really? Room. Yeah, joking? there's a buffet. There we are. This way. So this has got the bathroom in here. The bathroom is inside this door here. There's no bath though. It is a shower inside these. There's your toilet and sink area. You can tell we've got two girls with us on this trip. Look at all that in there. All in creams and everything. There's oh. another bedroom just inside there. But Alex is asleep. Like Krista said. But it's just same size really as our room. If not a little bit smaller. But there's two single beds in there. But you can pull them uh, together if you want to. Uh, to make a double bed. The living area and Living kitchen. space. This is quite nice, and we've got a little uh, coaster up here, sneaky little coaster look on the pier. Look at that up there. There we are. Got a tally just over there. You even got a VHS down there, look. If you want it, a DVD player. Nice Do you bring a DVD? Door. 
sliding door, yeah. And that's our balcony. Like I say, you pay a bit extra. You can go downstairs on one of those ones. Oh, getting a bit. Uh, oh, I'm oh, tripping up. That's it. There Sean nearly fell over the table. <laughs> you know, getting a bit uh, blurry there, folks. Sorry about that. Just testing the, this camera at the moment. I still haven't got the settings quite right. I don't think. Then we've I'm getting got there. The kitchen area. The kitchen area just over here. Well, you're seating, big pack of 24 waters, which was Charlotte's. Not much left though now. Gotta keep hydrated. You have gotta keep hydrated. You got a uh, oven just over there. There's even a uh, dishwasher in here, which is good. Obviously, you've got your fridge and freezer there. All different utensils, bread bin, toaster, kettle, microwave up there, some Schweppes, which Schweppes. doesn't come with it. And if you wanna do the washing up, you can do, but like I say, you got a dishwasher or the housekeeping do come in every day. I say that, they've not been they in today, been have in they? Today, yeah, no. yeah, but nice accommodation. Nice like, we've had no, uh, no issues with it. If you want to see it inside a silver apartment at Skegness, check out the vlog we did a couple of years ago. And uh, next year, we might go to Bognor Regis and go and do that. So we've done all three different <laughs> Butlins resorts. But uh, anyway, we're going to go and hire some bikes. Not quite these ones just here. But uh, yeah, you ready to get some bikes? Yes. And then we're going to go on the beach for a bit, aren't we? So uh, yeah, we'll see you over on the bikes. Here we go then! Something a little bit different this time, he's awake! So when we went to Skegness, we went on the Chukka Brother bikes. Don't know what the official name is for those, do you? Family Cycles. <laughs> Family Cycles. And here we are, we're on these little dune buggy bikes. We've got half an hour and it was, what, £7, seven pound, was it? £7.50? £7.50. £20 deposit. £20 deposit, but you do well, get that back. Here they are! Hey, I tell you what, be careful on the corners, you can come off easy on these. You know how to go in the fun fair. Does your seat wobble a bit? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go on our little tour. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet and legs inside your dune buggy at all times. There we go. There's the land train. Chris has now got a number. I do? Yeah, a number. There we go in. We're turning left onto the main road. Oh, cute. Let's go, speed bump. So you're not allowed in the Skyline Pavilion or the fun fair, and obviously you can't take them out of the resort. Well, you can, but it's 20 quid. Saying that, it's worth 20 quid for one of these, isn't it? Here's the water park down here, which I've not shown you yet, so we'll go and have a look. Compared to Skegness, the water park's a bit more dated here. Here we go, airtime. Hey. <laughs> and there's the high ropes course as well. Upcharge for the high ropes, but you splash water world, you can go as many times as you want during your stay. Including the price. We bought this quite a while ago, so it was good value actually. Here it is, Splash Water World. There's the uh, outdoor pool just there. Guys, it's busy in the outdoor pool. Like I say, you can't film inside the water park here, which of course is understandable. Some allow it, some don't. But there it is, and let you just go in there whenever you want to. Aerial adventures, high ropes course and climbing wall. There's a few different activities on there actually. So you've got this big wall at the side here where you can go up. There's a zip wire that goes off the side. And there's the main high ropes course, quite high actually. Here's some of your slides just here. That's the master blaster. You've got four main slides inside there and a few bits for the kids as well. There's a hot tub and stuff. But uh, yeah, like I say, it's all located in this big building just here. Quite a lot of people on the bikes, popular today. Here they are. Oh, your number's on the front, your number eight. Charlotte's number two. They're good, these are, aren't they? Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Here's some of your other accommodation. There's the circus over there, Gandhi, if we went to see. Gin bar over there. Not gin ball, gin bar. Don't get confused, not Europa Park. That gives you an idea on the size of the water park. There's a space bowl in there. You've got the master blaster, like I say. You've got, and then a couple of body slides as well. Uh, there's only the one slide in there, what's a ring slide. If we go down here about it, you'll probably have to see the slides. Let's go down this way. Here's a look at the slides just here. One of those is a dark uh, body slide, like I say. You've got another one that's a light body slide. And the other one is for the uh, space bowl. And me and Krista, we just did one of those because the queues were really busy. Um, but yeah, we did like the light body slide and I nearly got stuck in it. I think Krista was all right though. All right. You were all right, yeah. It didn't, it didn't light me for some reason. <laughs> oh, we got a delivery going into the water park there, look. These are good, these are. Nice and easy. How do you break those? Do you pull the stick. Pull the stick? Stick. The stick. There we are. Here it is. 
Oh, and then he comes to a sharp break. Right, let's go and have more of an export around the camp. Seems to have lost the others for some reason. I'm not too sure where they are, but uh, here's a look around some more of Butland. You've got Bullseye Bay just here, archery range, which is inside there. You've got all different bits of sport equipment and things here as well. A couple of courts, what you can use. I suppose you can just bring your own ball, have it in your accommodation, really. Lots of different ranges of accommodation, depending on the price, really. Gold is up there as one of the uh, upper class ones, really. And uh, yeah, it's not really cost us that much to stay in there actually compared to what you'd expect. Uh, I think each we paid about £70 for five days, uh, which isn't too bad at all really with all your entertainment, water park, fun fair, uh, things all included as well. But there's more accommodation of different price ranges like these chalets just here, which are obviously a little bit cheaper. And uh, yeah, they've got silver accommodation, bronze, and they've got some of the new ones as well, which they've uh, built over by the lake. Thank you. <laughs> Have a look at the circus just there. Football court. Or pitch, sorry. You can tell that I don't play football much, can't you? Football pitch. Yeah, I don't know where they've gone. I've lost them. Let's go and have an explore. <laughs> I'm right down the other end of the campsite there now. Gives you an idea on the size of it, really. Holmicote Village. Let's go back this way. So if you are staying here at Butlin's half board or full board, that's one of the restaurants that you'll use. Let's get your meals. That's where I used to go as a kid and stay in these down here and go there for my lunch and tea. It was really nice actually. I used to love it as a kid. It's been great going back and reliving these memories. Yeah, I'm going for a look at this uh, new accommodation just down here. Like I say, this wasn't here a few years ago. Definitely not when I used to come here as a kid. I've not been to this resort. I say over 10 years, more like over 15 years, to be honest. And it changed so much. This is quite nice around here, Oyster Bay. I think this could be the silver accommodation. I'm not too sure though. A little bit further away from all the different attractions like the skyline and I suppose the pool's not too far away. About a five minute walk maybe, but still you're not too far out. The resort in general I think is better here than uh, Skegness, especially on uh, where things are located. Here it is then, the West Lakes Village, and I found the girls, but they've lost Alex. Where's he gone? I don't know. Oh, here we These go. They're both wearing yellow. Are hard to keep in convoy. Yeah, but they're both wearing yellow, and you might recognise that shirt, because that there, that's one of my t-shirts that is, Charlotte. It's not, I bought it myself. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this looks really nice around here. A little look at the accommodation. You think, oh, West Lakes, where's the lakes? Well, if we carry on a bit further down this way, you will be able to see them, but these look really nice. The build quality of these looks good. It's just the roofs look a little bit iffy on some of these, but I'm not too sure when it opened, maybe a few years old, if that round here. But uh, yeah, like I assume you can pay a bit extra and have one looking over the lake. And uh, yeah, it's very nice around here. Let's go off road in a bit here. Just to... There we go. <laughs> Golf boogie's going off roading lot, we're all right. There we go, around this way, I think. That's it, and then down here. <laughs> we did have a walk around here like, last night. Oh, butterfly. Oh, what a lovely day. So we're going to the beach. Here we go, this is where I want to go. So yeah, this gives you a good idea on how it all looks. Yeah, going really fast on these. Three. And break. <laughs> Nearly came off then. Here we go, look. These are really nice. If only Alton Towers had built these instead of the Enchanted Village Lodges. Look at this. Just sit out there and enjoy the sounds of the waterfall. And stop. Oh. Yeah, really nice these are. I'd love to stay in these. I like how they put all tropical plants around as well. Quite far from the skyline, you can see it over there in the distance, but nice. I'd like to stay in these. Would you? Lovely, aren't they? The you what? You are? The oh, I see you're not getting your twenty pound deposit back now, Charlotte. Yeah, but uh, there you go, nearly our time up. So we'll uh, head back. But I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a show round of the uh, of the Butlins Mine Ev Resort and this lovely little area here. And obviously, you've got the steam train what runs by in the distance there as well. So it's been 
been a couple of hours since I last spoke to you guys and we went on the beach earlier on uh, that was fantastic and a really nice time. Like I say, it's located just opposite Butlins and uh, yeah, went on there, had a little relax, built a few sand castles. Yeah, it was really good and obviously with us staying in the accommodation quite close to the entrance and exit of Butlins, it meant that five minute walk, I was back at the room, we could get showered off, get all the sand off me. But I just thought I'd show you this here, it's three pound a go. It's like a VR experience. And uh, as you can see, you sit on there and you put the VR headset on and it, and it tilts side to side. As you'll probably know if you've watched the channel for a while, I don't really like VR that much on coasters. Well, I hate it really. But with this, I like this idea of the fact that it's not ruining a ride. It's a custom built thing, a bit like a, a motion simulator really. Here you've got two rows, you can seat six people. And uh, yeah, I've not done it, but if we do get a chance, I will give it a go. But uh, yeah, just about to head down to Reds now to watch another show in there. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna watch our final show of the holiday, which is like a band inside there. And uh, yeah, most of our entertainment has been in Reds that we've watched, really. Uh, we watched a couple of bits over in Centre Stage, watched out on John, that was really good. But uh, we'll head over to Reds, and I'll show you some footage of the uh, two shows that we're gonna watch. One is like a red coat showcase, like a bit of a, a mixture show. And then we've got the uh, finale show of the night and the finale show of the trip, uh, which is gonna be another band over in there. So we'll uh, head over there and over the next few minutes, I'll show you some shots.
just seen a few minutes of footage there from a couple of the shows in Reds on our final evening here at Butlins. Uh, firstly, the fantastic Redcoat show that me and Alex watched whilst Charlotte and Krista uh, went to watch like an animal show, didn't you, where they had like, yeah. uh, basically they made someone hold a tarantula who was scared of them and a few other bits, wasn't there as well? And uh, yeah, whilst you were watching that in centre stage, me and Alex over in Reds were watching the Redcoat show. And uh, yeah, that was fantastic, really enjoyed that. Uh, a really nice combination of songs. It was actually something a bit different to what I've ever seen at Butlins. It was more a theme park style production, with like a theme storyline of like this Sir Algernon type character, uh, this time traveller, uh, taking you round through all these different music eras. And uh, what I really liked about it as well, they sort of swapped over the songs. Uh, some of the songs were sang by girls, were actually sang by boys, and vice versa, which I think was really nice and added to the show. But uh, yeah, and then we've just watched uh, a band which we called uh, Las Fever Vegas or something. Vegas. Las, Vegas. Las Vegas. And we, originally we thought it was going to be a Las Vegas show, didn't yeah, we? But it, was. Uh, but it was a band, but they were very good. I showed you a couple yeah, of minutes of footage really of them. Good. But uh, we've seen some really good entertainment, yeah. haven't we? The best thing I've seen, though, entertainment wise for me has been the circus yeah, that me and Charlotte yeah. watched. And uh, yeah, it was a shame that Alex and Krista didn't watch that one. Yeah, they, uh, really they didn't enjoyed. fancy it, did they? But uh, yeah, they've gone off to bed now while we've just come to. Uh, wrap up time. the vlog yeah we've come out and this is it tomorrow we're heading off up to Western Supermare where I'm going to be doing a vlog from the pier and also the Tropicana Centre where there's a new coaster to ride uh, so I'll be sure to uh, bring that to you and we thought we'd come and end this one firstly with this big hot dog just behind me uh, Charlotte's cuddling the hot dog because this week whilst we've been here it's been like National Hot Dog Day or something and I did have a hot dog the other night at the American Diner. So I'm just looking to see this nice big hot dog. And, uh, and yeah, it's been a lovely trip though, hasn't it? And there's another reason why we're here. We're going to walk <laughs> over to it now. Because that's going to be the big finale to this Butlins vlog. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like I said, they've gone to bed. But we're going to sort of have a nice romantic yeah. moment together on this ride. We've had a nice time, haven't we? We've had a lovely Me time. and Charlotte's first ever time at Butlins together. She came a lot as a kid. I came yeah. a lot as a kid. And it's been nice to relive their memories together, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been so nice. What's been the highlights for you? Buying birds. Buying birds, the seagull. And seeing birds every oh, day. What else have you enjoyed at Butlins? I've enjoyed spending time with you. Oh. Seeing the shows and yes. the trampoline. Yeah, the trampoline right back at the start of the vlog. It's been a funny one. There's a film there over a few days, but yeah. I'm not too sure how long it is. Yeah, obviously you guys do because you're watching it. But here we go. It the is time finale. for the big finale. I'm going to let Charlotte go and stand by it. And I'm going to turn the camera around and reveal what we've got. It's our big finale to this vlog here from Butlins in my head. And here it is. Da, 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 da. What is it, Charlotte? Tell the viewers. It's a spaceship. It's a spaceship and it's two pound for a ride and we actually went on this last <laughs> night so i didn't funny. have the camera with me to film it but look at this it's on the arcadian skyline pavilion <laughs> an exclusive ride this one we're going all the way up to about what's that about 20 feet maybe it doesn't look that tall from down here but when you're up there we got some good views didn't we last we did. night it plays a bit of popular music i'm yes. sure a lot of you are going to like so we're going to put the two pound in get inside and wrap up this vlog from Butlins Minor, July 2018. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go, the big finale. Let's go. <laughs> How do you feel, Charlotte? Amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's your view? Over the skyline. Look at everybody waving over there. I feel like royalty. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> All over the Burger King, hello down there! Hey! Woo! Enjoy your Burger King! Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we're going even higher now! Look at this! The best thing is, it even plays the music outside as well. Da, 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 da. You know what? What a way to end 
a fantastic trip here. Of course, thanks to Alex and Krista for a fantastic time as well. And then, yeah, it's been lovely, hasn't it, Charlotte? We and we had a lovely time. We're still, still waving. Oh, from that note, so here from Butlins, from both me and Charlotte. <laughs> oh, oh, we stop. <laughs> I think we're. Uh, <laughs> Uh oh, on that note, that from me and Charlotte, that means it's time to cue those credits. See you soon guys in the next video.